Okay, Rez fam. What's going on? It's your boy Rezzy. Welcome back to another episode of the Detroit Tigers franchise series. Before I start the video, I want to explain why I have not been uploading a bit. You know, you guys have seen uh, this weekend and specifically, I didn't. I only uploaded one video. Well, I didn't even upload a video this weekend. And uh, most of it has to do with the fact that my sleep schedule is very messed up. I'm trying to fix it. I've been waking up like at 3 or something like that. And then I have stuff to do. And then that takes up another time. And then it's too late to upload. So that's that, That's all on me. And then, uh, yeah, I, I just, I've just been pretty busy. I've been trying to figure out to getting this uh, Miami Marlins job, in which I did get. So your boy is going to be working for the Marlins. But, uh, yeah, man, it's just been quite a weird weekend. Uh, I, I only uploaded one video, which was yesterday's. Well, Monday's at the time of the recording. And uh, I did not upload anything Tuesday, so that is my fault. I hope that's not how it's going to be. I'm going to try this week to give you guys two videos a day. Uh, but I am going to be starting that Marlins job on uh, Friday, I believe, is when I start working. So it's going to be hard to see how I balance out uh, two uh, two videos a day. But I should be able to do two, two videos a day besides Sunday. Sunday is always my day off. I, I always take Sunday off to just chill and then worry about Monday stuff on Monday. But uh, yeah, now we're back. Now we're back with some franchise. I'm sorry for not uploading the franchise or not uploading at all for quite a bit of time. And even you guys in, you know, in a dust like that. So I, I, I hope it, I, I hope it doesn't happen again, folks. But you know, sometimes that life gets in the way. But folks, let's get straight into this, okay? Let's get straight into the franchise. So I forgot what we did last episode, but I think we had a good episode. Uh, we're 71 and 57 now. We're two and a half games behind the Indians, which means we're actually doing pretty good. Uh, we have a squad that is capable of getting some damage done. Uh, we've been doing incredible. Puig, Rendon ha have been doing amazing. Uh, Garrett Cole as well, one of our acquisitions from last offseason doing pretty good. Kaiko, we picked him up in the offseason, if I'm not mistaken. We picked him up in the offseason. Uh, I don't know if we picked him up as a free agent. I don't know, probably not. But yeah, everyone has been popping off, and Steven Matz is having himself a good season. Basically, everyone's having an amazing season, and I am proud of the boys. The bullpen is doing really, really good. Uh, could be better, but uh, we're just gonna have to work with that. We picked up Jose Alvarado from a trade. Now, this is what I remember. We did a trade, picked up Scott Alexander and Jose Alvarado at the trade deadline, and Craig, Craig Kim was doing Craig Kimball type thing. So, uh, let's all oh, and also we played that last critical situation where it went horribly wrong. Thank God we got over that. But, folks, we're gonna go ahead and play, we're gonna simulate a few games and see how we do and then check up on the squad but yeah man we're have a we have a winning record we have a plus 20 record which is actually pretty good our triple a affiliates have finished in the 550 77 and 63 so we're going to be able to make the postseason with our triple eight squad and also our double a so wow 97 and 43 our double a squad okay wow we're actually pretty amazing let's go ahead and check out the minor league let's go ahead and check out how the squad is doing down in the uh the minor league we got alex fado had himself an amazing season jesus uh wow look at our pitching from from double a quisenberry funkhauser wow okay that is actually pretty amazing dude we have an amazing starting pitching in double a that's not even triple it. That's double it. We have an amazing starting pitcher. We haven't even looked at our position players. Jason Castro. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is amazing. Our double A team went absolutely off. And we have, bro, we, we have to have, these guys have to be top prospects. There's no 19 years old Quisenberry is 20 and 3 with the 1A5 in double A. He's going to get promoted next season, obviously, for sure. Uh, let's check on triple A. Casey Mize has had a pretty decent season. Uh, Andres Montes as well. Christian Stewart. Uh, Victor Alcantara. Uh, basically, just very, very good seasons. I'm quite happy with the boys. But let's check, man. Wow. Yo, Funkhauser. I think that's his name. Wow. Dude, he is absolutely crazy. I don't know how he ended up going like that, but he is absolutely filthy. So we got... Uh, a top 10 prospect in case he mines. He might be coming up next season. So that is a pretty good sign. We got Franklin Perez, obviously. And then I believe we have Matt Manning. I don't know if we have any more guys. Uh, I would not be surprised if we see uh, Funkhauser here. He must be here somewhere because there's no way. Double A. This, he, he, he might crack this list next year. But, dude, that is a hidden gem. I, I got to look at those stats again. 
Was it Funkhauser? And, no, it was Quisenberry. Oh, my God. He, he, he's going to go to AAA next season. For sure, he's going to AAA. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to let him be stay in AA. So, yeah, everybody did pretty good in our um, in the minor leagues. Let's go ahead and check on the boys in the pros. And, you know, the middle of the order is doing some work, doing some damage. Puig is doing some damage as well. Uh, Marvin Gonzalez doing his thing out there. But let's go ahead and continue the simulation. Let's see how far we can get with that pitching. Uh, incredible pitching. Our double-A does win their Western Division playoff series. And I believe we are now in the playoffs for them. And there we go. Our double-A ends up winning the championship series. Which means we have a really good minor league system. Which is very important. And look at that. We are in first place now. 88 and 64 as a squad. And I believe we're going to be making the postseason. So we're going to go ahead and play a critical situation. You know, it's towards the end of the season now. We have one here with Kirk Kimbrell. Another pitching one. Oh, boy. This is going to be very bad. <laughs> All right. We got Craig Kimbrell on the mound for us. And he is going to be in charge of taking the win here. Or take or getting the save, I should say. And our last pitching uh, critical situation didn't go to plan. But thank God Whit Merrifield is 0 for 4. But he can also always break out of that 0 first. So we just got to make sure that we get him on a two-strike count just like this. And then throw him a change of down below. And he is going to get himself a hit. Wow. Okay. That's that's very fitting for me. Oh, with stealing. With stealing and what? Well, okay. Well, that's... That's... Okay. Where when This is not going to happen again. I got him on a 3-2 count. We're going to throw that right there. We're going to go ahead and make sure to get the secure out at first. But with one out, Madden on third. We got to be careful and critical now of what happens. I right, got a full count once again with Kimber. We hit our spot, and that's going to be a pop-up. Yes, that's what we want right there. Let's go cash this, Rendon. Thank you. Let's ch just chuck a high fastball up here, and he's going to pop it up. That's what I'm talking about, Jake. Cash this, Jake, please. Thank you. Let's go. We get out of the game. We come out with the win. That's exactly what we needed right there, folks, after the last critical situation. This is very important for us to get the win. So we come up clutch. Get the win, 6-5, the squad balled out. Okay, we balled out, Marvin Gonzalez balling out, Candelario, Jake Rogers with a home run this game, Mickey with 2 for 4, and folks, we're looking good. We're looking like one of the most fearful teams in the MLB going into the playoff, which is what we want. All right, so after that game, we're now 89 and 65. We went from being a team, I don't know what we ended off the first season with, or the second season with. I know we had like a plus five win differential from last year to this year. But now we're almost. We're going to be breaking 90 wins most likely. And this year. And that is absolutely incredible. So yeah we're finishing off this season. 93 and 67 folks. As we check the lineup for one last time for the regular season. Okay so we're going to have to start looking for a first baseman though. As good as Mickey's been playing. We're going to have to start shopping for a first baseman. Um, if Miguel Cabrera does decide to retire, which I think he might retire this th This might be the year that he calls it. So we're happy with the production that he did give us So he might call it a season here. Rendon has a lot a lot a lot of Potential and he's going to be a monster for us for a long long time Probably another four or five years gonna be a monster for us Domingo Santana as well a young stud that we picked up from the Mariners and uh he has been an absolute blessing for us. Nick Castellanos as well is going to be with us for a long time. Uh, Marwin, I think we gave Marwin a, we gave him a six-year deal. So he's going to be here probably for another four to five years, which I, I don't mind at all. Quick as well, we give him a good contract for him to come over to the squad. Jaimer as well is going for two more years. Is, I mean, he's a pretty good player. We might end up signing him for him to be playing third base for us. And then Jake Rogers. You know, a, a rookie catcher that we're starting to develop, you know, it's going to take some time for him to develop his uh, batting skills. But um, I figured it's better than trading for a catcher, uh, which I, I, I really didn't want to do at all. Actually, I, I, I did not want to trade for a catcher. But folks, I believe that is going to be it for the season. Uh, we're going to make some one last checks here for the uh, starting rotation. And man, starting rotation is disgusting. Okay, our rotation is disgusting. Pitching should not be an issue for us for a long time coming, okay? Especially considering how well 
uh, Quisenberry and Newhouser did this year and Fado we can't even forget about Fado and we can't even forget Spencer Watson uh, Watkins I believe did pretty good as well so we cannot forget about those guys because they are going to be monsters for us in the future so we're gonna go ahead and simulate the last two games of the season which we do end up winning folks we went 95 and 67 in our third season with the Tigers our third season with the Tigers we managed to turn it all around and become a 95 win team and we have won our division and now we're going to be taking on the Yankees in the division series that's going to be tough folks but the regular season is over we're going to go ahead and look at any awards we did win some awards with gold glove with Ben Revere so that's not bad we won a gold glove with Ben Revere congratulations my man and Steven Matz is the ERA leader for the last season so as well, that is pretty, pretty amazing to see. For folks, we have to start looking and focusing on building our our postseason roster because we're gonna go for a heavy postseason push, and I truly believe that we are we can we can do this. We can win it with this squad, even with Jake Rogers and even with everybody in. We can 100% do this. We can definitely make a push to go far in the postseason. But we're gonna have to get past the Yankees, and then after the Yankees. We're going to either face uh, Houston, Cleveland, or the Angels, depending on who wins the wild card from there. So, yeah, folks, that is going to be it for this series, folks. We ended up discovering two hidden arms in our, bowl, in our, in our system, two incredible arms in our system that might be coming up with us for the next in the pot possibly in the next two years or something like that they might be, be they might get called up so never know maybe we might see some quizenberry and funk hauser in the rotation in the future but folks that is going to be it for this episode hopefully you guys enjoy it folks it's not going to be the lot the only upload of the day i am going to post another video today i'm going to i'm going to try to get another video for you guys today because i really did feel bad i'm not uploading because especially considering the you know the help that i got from the video with coos which is almost on 1k views by the way i appreciate it and we're almost hitting 2,000 subscribers as well i forgot to mention that we're closing in on 2,000 subscribers now we're at 1.8k hopefully we can hit in the next two weeks or so so but folks thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like and also drop a sub i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace when i pull up you can't see anything